When you're looking for a quick and delicious meal, fried rice is always a great option. And this beef and tomato combo is no exception. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera. I'm all about simple food, simple faith. One of my favorite dishes growing up was my grandmother's tomato and beef. And I thought, why not make it into a fried rice? So here we are today. This recipe is very similar to my beef and lettuce fried rice that can be found in my new cookbook, Daily Special. Because fried rice, you can use whatever you want in it and it will be delicious. I'm using about half a pound of lean ground beef and that's about 230-ish grams. And I'm adding one teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, about a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of ground white pepper. I'm gonna mix this up by hand. And if you don't want to do this part, you can totally skip it. It's just know that it won't be as flavorful, but it'll still be delicious. If you're strapped for time, I skip stuff all the time. Then I'm just gonna set it aside while I cut up the other ingredients. Have one small onion that I'm just gonna chop up. I'm using two Roman tomatoes, but you can use whatever tomatoes you have. Just gonna cut them into slices. And one green onion for garnish. I am gonna add the white part to the regular onion though. So I don't like the rawness of it, but you can do as you wish. I'm also using three eggs. Gonna lightly beat them. And that's it. All your ingredients are ready to go. Turning on the heat to a medium high. And we're just gonna do the eggs first. And I'm using my wok today, but if you don't have a wok, you can always use a large frying pan or even like a Dutch oven, just to be big enough to stir all the ingredients around. Once you see that wisp of smoke, Add about a tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna do my eggs first. When it's about 80% cooked through, you can remove it. I just put it back in the same bowl. Adding another tablespoon of oil and get our onions going. Turning down the heat a little bit. Into a medium. And the smaller you cut your vegetables, the quicker that they are going to cook. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna add my beef now. Push my onions to the side. I'm just gonna let that beef kind of sear there for about a minute, flatten it out a little bit. Just add some flavor. And start chopping it up and start mixing all the things together. And we're gonna cook this through until it's no longer pink. And once your meat is cooked through, we're gonna add the tomatoes. Let this cook for about a minute, just until the tomatoes soften up a little bit and the juices are released. 
Usually I have leftover rice because it's perfect for fried rice. It's in the fridge, it's cool, and it's um, dry so that it can absorb all the flavors. Today, I didn't have any leftover fried rice, which is shocking. So I had to make a batch, which was fine, but then I just cooled it in the fridge and did the exact same thing. So it's kind of like leftover. Just make sure that your rice is dry and cold and you'll come up with some really good fried rice because the rice, when it's dry, it absorbs all the flavors. I'm just gonna use all of it. Probably about four cups of rice here. So let that heat through. Adding two teaspoons of soy sauce. Two teaspoons of oyster sauce. And two teaspoons of dark soy sauce. The dark soy sauce will just give this an added color. And a teaspoon of sugar will, will help to take away some of the sourness of the tomatoes. I'm just gonna stir this up. My goodness, it looks so good. Even though my grandmother never made tomato beef fried rice, this is, totally reminds me of her. I just want the grains to also be separated so I don't have chunks of white rice in here. Adding the eggs back in, breaking them up a little bit. All right, turning off the heat. And add some of the green onions in there. Spurning it up. Oh my goodness, looks so good. It smells so good. I think there's gonna be more than the plate can have. <laughs> well, we're just gonna do half. Check it. So much in the wok still. Oh yeah, that's another playful right there. Mm-hmm. Right, garnish with some green onions. And that's it. Are you all ready for? Definitely. The taste. What's not to love about fried rice? So versatile, you can use whatever you have on hand. And in this case, tomatoes and beef. Lots of color here, great color. And the smells, the aroma, so good. You know, I never know what word to use, whether it's like smell or aroma, which one is worse. I guess aroma sounds better when it comes to food. Better than odor. <laughs> it's so odorous, Flo. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, marinating the meat is always a, a good foundational thing for the rest of the dish. All right. No, it's not hot, it's good. I don't mention it enough, but mouthfeel, really important. Because all those textures dancing around in your mouth along with the flavors, it just makes for a, a lot of great contrast and um, an overall dining experience. Wonderful flavors. No, yeah. beef and tomato and the egg. Oh, creamy eggs. Crunch of the onions. All together, a fantastic dish that your family is gonna love for sure. Awesome, thanks dude. I hear that the price of lettuce is going to skyrocket because of all the drought and flooding in California. So tomatoes are a great option unless you're growing your own lettuce. A huge thank you to all of you who have purchased the new cookbook, Daily Special. It means so much to us that you would support us in this way. If you get a chance, please give us a review on Amazon. In the meantime, if you haven't checked it out, what are you waiting for? Daily Special. <laughs>